ABC 10 News at 11 starts now. Tonight, Borrego Springs residents are preparing to stand before a county judge yet again, pleading with the court not to place another sexually violent predator in their community. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Kimberly Hunt and 79 year old Douglas Badger could be the second SVP in two weeks placed in Borrego Springs. His notorious criminal history dates back to the 1980s. And ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill is live in the studio with the efforts to stop this from happening. Ryan. Yeah, Kimberly, that's right. It was nearly two weeks ago that folks in Borrego Springs learned that SVP sexual or SVP Michael Martinez would be placed in their area. Now they're hoping to put that a judge stops the possible decision to place a Douglas Badger in their area. I don't know, you know, how how it could be possible to place an SVP across from a, a home where a child was being educated. Terry Kellmeyer, who lives in Borrego Springs, says she's been through an emotional roller coaster. It's stemming from dealing with essentially back to back placement hearings in an approved placement for sexually violent predators in the area. The latest hearing for SVP Douglas Badger hits too close to home for her. In fact, it hits right across the street from Kellmeyer. Your heart sinks. I feel like I'm melting, you know, into the floor when I when I lay down at night and think about you know, the possibility of my, what might happen. As we reported, a San Diego County judge okayed placing SVP Michael Martinez at a home on Running M Road in late July. On Friday, a different county judge will hear from the public about the placement of Badger at this home on Zuni Trail. So we, we make sure we get signs out so that people are aware of things. Lee and Sarah Rogers, who've been leading the charge against the placements, will be there to voice their concerns about the latest SVP placement. They're putting a danger into a society and forcing the neighbors to live with it for no good reason. It's not simply that you place it there and people are like, oh, it's a perceived worry. No, this really does change how people live. This changes people's lives. It'll change the lives of Kel Meyer's children, particularly her 12 year old daughter who is set to be homeschooled. My daughter um, is deaf. She relies very heavily on lip reading. Um, and you can imagine with the masks with COVID, it's just been an impossible situation. So we've made the decision to teach her at home to relieve her anxiety and help her with her education. So yeah, it's it's a huge concern. As the community puts up various signs protesting the possible placement, they're preparing for what they're going to say to the judge and will wait for their decision. It's all kinds of emotions. The thought of, you know, is this the last night that I might, you know, go to sleep in my home with with any sort of comfort and peace. The hearing for the possible placement of Badger will be Friday at 9 a.m. in the Superior Court in downtown San Diego. Reporting live here in the studio with photojournalist Jimmy Didios, Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Ryan.